Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. One of the things I noticed is <clears throat> when people first give their heart to the Lord, they think, okay, two, three years, I'm doing pretty good. And what they start doing is looking around for that grandiose assignment, the calling of God, to use them. Now, that's a good aspiration. But sometimes it's untimely. Because if you look at it this way, Jesus, when he dealt with the disciples, they walked with him for three years before they could do any kind of great exploits. Then, after he was resurrected, you know what he told them? You wait right here. You wait right here. Don't go out and do anything now. You wait until the promise comes on you. When that promise comes, you'll have power, power from on high. If you don't have power, stay home. Don't go out alone. The devil will get you behind. Even though you think, hey, I've handled it thus far. I am an adult, by the way. But when it comes to the spiritual realm of God, I don't care if you're 75 years old, you are still a baby. You are still young in the Lord. You are still immature. And as ready as you think you are, you better wait on God or you're gonna bite off more than you can chew. And you don't know what that is until you do bite, until you get to biting. <clears throat> now, the one thing I noticed that's really cute, when I was a teenager, and when I was, no, 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 I wasn't a teenager. I was about eight years old. My sister, Joanne, she was still alive. She would be in the kitchen doing the dishes. Let me do the dishes. I want to do something. <laughs> No, nah, babe, you wait, because when you have to do them, you're going to wish you had these days where you didn't. You wait. You're too young. You could break dishes and break glasses. I can do the dishes. Let me do the dishes. Well, it was about four or five years, and then I was doing the dishes. It wasn't because I wanted to, because I had to. I didn't like it, like she said. But when I first started doing the dishes, guess what I did? I break glasses and break dishes, just like she said. Because that's what comes with a lack of experience. Now, experience hones in skill. And the more skilled you are in the things of God, the easier it is for you to do a better job at what you're doing. But... Some of you, when it comes to the things of God, you think you have arrived. You don't know much about the word. You definitely don't know much about God. But you want to go out. And you want to change the world. God's trying to change you. But you want to go out and change the world. And God's saying, I got to change you first, sweetheart. You're not old enough. You're not mature enough. You go off and cut somebody out in the New York Minute. You just haven't been faced with that situation yet. But I know the situations that'll make you show you're a little narrow behind. You're not ready. But you think you are. You're like, let me, let me, let me do the dishes. Peace be still. It is exciting, the idea of God using you. It's exciting, the, the idea of doing great exploits and, and being remembered for doing something great for God and grandiose. 
But you know what? If your parents tell you when you're six years old, tie your shoelaces before you go outside that door. And you're still learning how to tie your shoelaces so they'll stay tied. You're not ready to get in your father's car and drive yourself to school. It hurts. Yeah, we know what we want to do when we feel ready. You may be six, seven, eight years old and you feel like, I can do this. And your parents are like, ha, 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 ain't you cute? You better sit your behind down and watch TV. Watch some cartoons, why don't you? Go out and play with your friends. Grow up first. That's the hardest thing for us. When That's why Jesus said, in order to, to enter the kingdom of heaven, we must be willing to come as little children. But see, adults want to be adults all the way. We don't want to come as children. Don't treat me like I don't know what I'm doing. Don't treat me like I'm stupid. What, you think I'm stupid or something? Yeah. Not that you're stupid. You're ignorant, unlearned, inexperienced. You don't know the ins and outs of the spirit realm. You don't know how God works. You don't know the authority. You don't know. You have to learn. That's why Jesus didn't have his disciples out there serving during the first year and the second year. He didn't have them out there even after the third year. He didn't allow them to get out there and do all kind of craziness. You know why? Because they had not yet been endued with power from on high. See, when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you're playing on a whole new ball field at that point you're playing with brand new weapons brand new tools oh god has upped your game now but first you have to learn how to work the tools you become a policeman you have to learn you have to sit your behind in a seat and listen to a teacher pump you full of information first secondly you have to go out to the firing squad, learn how to load, unload a pistol, learn the safety mechanisms, learn how to react under pressure. You have to be trained. Your skills have to be developed. Then they have to be honed before they cut your behind loose on the streets. Or you will do much more damage with little knowledge than you will with much knowledge and understanding. On top of that, with skill, honed, polished skill. Now, I say all that to say, we must wait, wait, Wait on the, I don't want to wait on the Lord. Dang nabbit, I'm, 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 I'm 40 years old. I ain't no baby. I can get out. We must wait, wait, wait on the, oh, come on. I'm not ignorant. I've been through college. I've got degrees. We must learn our lessons well. In his timing, he will tell, no, I want it and I want it now. He will tell us what to do, where to go, what to say. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Oh, come on. How long already? Wait. Wait, I say, on the 